While garter snakes, by and large, have a reputation for being rather harmless, when it comes to their interactions with people, garter snakes do indeed have teeth. While they are a slightly venomous snake, said venom is only potent enough to overpower small prey, prey that is required to satisfy a garter snake's needs. But teeth, garter snakes do have some choppers, and they can provide a sharp sting should you ever be on the receiving end of a bite. In this video, we will briefly discuss the complex tooth types that garter snakes have, while also detailing the advantages and disadvantages of these teeth as they relate to effectiveness against both prey and potential threats alike. Enjoy the video. We hope you find it informative. Let's get right down to business. Garter snakes, as noted, have three types of teeth. Each set serves a different and important purpose. The recurved teeth. These teeth have a shallowed curve, almost like an S shape. They help the garter snake to grab prey and secure it. The curved teeth. These teeth are shaped somewhat like a crescent moon. They allow the garter snake to manipulate prey in its mouth. And finally, the linear teeth. They have a straight tip, which allows the garter snake to penetrate its prey. In total, these teeth trio work as a system. Grab, manipulate, and penetrate. This allows the garter snake the ability to subdue and consume prey with relative ease. Although a garter snake's trio set seem to be rather straightforward in terms of the roles they play, what are the major advantages and disadvantages? Let's take a closer look. The advantages of a garter snake's teeth is that the trio allows the snake to be an effective predator. When you factor in the quick reflexes of the garter snake, its teeth make the snake all the more efficient, especially when it comes to subduing prey before a threat can come to the snake. Penetration with the injection of venom can slow the prey down in short order. Their venom is released through a chewing motion. The conquered prey is then consumed whole. The core disadvantage garter snakes face is the fact that their teeth trio only work against small prey. This has everything to do with the garter snake itself. They're not the most physically intimidating and their venom is not potent enough to fend off larger predators. This is why garter snakes have a bag full of tricks in terms of defensive mechanisms. Camouflage tactics in the wild being just one of many. And that's a wrap, short and satisfactory, not unlike a garter snake's teeth. If you would like to know more about this specific topic, we invite you to head on over to snakesforpets.com. There you will find a detailed article on this particular subject matter. If you're currently watching us offside, please smash that initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to our excellent material. Before we close things out, we'd like to thank you once again for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with us. Much appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later.